The Ford Mondeo is a car that continues to surprise us. Partly because it's so forgettable, I can't remember the last time I saw it being advertised on television. It surprises us because every time we drive it, we're reminded of how much space there is inside and how practical the features are. Kicking off from $33,190, plus on-road costs, for the Mondeo MBD hatch, the wagon range commences from $35,040, plus on-road costs. If you head north in the lineup to this top specification Mondeo Titanium C wagon, you'll need to part with $49,840, plus on-road costs. That kind of money lands you right in the large SUV zone where you'll find cars like the Mazda CX-9, Kia Sorento and Hyundai Santa Fe, meaning you will really want a wagon to justify the purchase. Given how emotional car purchases are, emotionally purchasing a wagon over an SUV is never a bad thing, I for one am a massive wagon fan. Unlike the Mondeo hatch, which is available in both petrol and diesel, the Mondeo wagon can only be had in MBT trim as a petrol. Higher grades are all reserved for the diesel drivetrain. Under the bonnet of the Mondeo Titanium C wagon is a 2.0 liter four cylinder turbocharged diesel engine that produces 132 kilowatts of power and 400 newton meters of torque. It's mated to the six speed dual clutch automatic Ford Calls Power Shift. If the name sounds familiar, it's because Ford has had a number of issues with previous generations of the gearbox. The latest iteration is currently problem free. Given the efficiency gains of a diesel engine over a petrol engine, it's worth noting that Ford claims a combined fuel consumption figure of 5.3 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. We managed to achieve 6.2 liters slash 100 kilometers during our time with the car, which included a mix of city and highway driving. The cabin is nicely presented and centers around an 8.0 inch infotainment system that Ford calls Sync 3. It's the third iteration of the infotainment system that brings with it a host of new technology such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also features an inbuilt satellite navigation system and DAB Plus digital radio. The cracking Sony sound system comes with nine speakers and offers plenty of punch with USB connectivity and Bluetooth audio streaming. Sync 3 really sets the benchmark for infotainment systems, being super easy to use, very responsive and teamed with a usable voice recognition system. While the first row of the cabin is nicely presented, it's let down by some pretty average materials around the infotainment system and gear selector surrounds. The Mondeo hasn't moved up market as quickly as the Mazda 6, Volkswagen Passat or the upcoming Holden Commodore. Wagons have always been about space, and there's no shortage of it in the second row of the Mondeo. There is stacks of leg, toe and headroom, along with rear air vents that help circulate air on those hot summer days. While rear seat passengers get a 12 volts power outlet, there's no USB connectivity for charging devices. Ford makes up for it with a 230 volts power plug, so you can plug things like laptops directly into the car as a power source. There are two IceFix anchorage points on the outboard seats, with both seats also featuring state-of-the-art inflatable seat belts. These seat belts are a bit thicker and feature an inflatable cushion within them that comes to life during a side impact some very cool stuff. Cargo capacity is massive in true wagon fashion. With the second row in place it comes in at 730 liters, drop the second row and it expands to 1605 liters. The load space features storage on either side of the boot floor, plus a movable divider that slides along metal tracks. Beneath the load floor is a space saver spare wheel. The second row folds in a 60-40 split folding configuration to an almost flat position. It's on the road that the Mondeo really shines. Ford increased the wheel size on the Mondeo Titanium from 18 to 19 inches in 2017, and we were keen to see whether this would affect the ride, given how good it already was prior to the update. Our test loop included a mix of city, highway and country driving. Around the city the increase in wheel size proved to not affect the ride. Even cobblestones and sharp-edged speed humps didn't unsettle or jar the ride. Steering feel from the electrically assisted steering rack remained on point with enough communication across all surfaces we tested. The wheel sits nicely in hand too, giving you a confident feel behind the wheel. The ride was predictably smooth on the highway and remained just as good as we departed the highway for some country roads. The only difference we felt was when hitting sharp potholes at highway speeds in the country. Whereas the 18-inch wheel would have an added layer of impact protection, 
the 40 profile tire would feel the hit a little more severely. The difference was negligible, though, and the ride remained excellent across the types of surfaces buyers would be expected to cover. The Mondio's other highlight is the cracking diesel engine. It's mated to Ford's six-speed automatic power shift transmission, and while it can be a bit fussy at low speeds, it delivers a mountain of torque when you lean on the engine in any gear.